Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Kristen and today I'm sharing with you guys some outdoor decor that is quick and easy, inexpensive, that anybody can do. So you guys, let's get into the video. started into my DIYs, I do want to thank Litholai for sponsoring today's video. They sent me over their 20 volt, 13 inch cordless lawnmower with a brushless motor and 4.0 AH battery and charger. It's only 27.3 pounds. It is very lightweight. There are five different cutting heights and this mower is highly recommended for smaller lawns. The brushless motor delivers 40% higher efficiency and energy conversion than any brushed models. This was really easy to put together. I did this all by myself. The really only thing you had to do was put the handle on and then add the bag to the back, which you're gonna see in a second along with the clips. Another thing I really like about this is it's designed for safety. So it does require two steps. Uh, before the mower will even turn on. So you have to insert the safety key, which is right by the battery. And then you have to press the lock off button, which I will show you guys in just a second. Uh, I love that this is quiet and lightweight. It doesn't have that gas smell since it does have a battery and you just charge it when your lawnmower dies. That is just one thing that I really like about this. It is, like I said, it's lightweight. You can just use one hand to lift it up it's super, super easy to use. And what, like I said, what I like about it is it's so quiet and it's something that I can maneuver by myself. So if I just have to do like a quick little sweep around the edges of my lawn, I can do that. And this is the button and the little pull and that's what starts your lawnmower. <laughs> I was almost embarrassed to show how tall my grass was, but this small little mower got through it. I was super impressed with that. But if you guys want to check out Litholai, I will leave the link in the description box below so you guys can check this mower out as well. Like I said, it is so lightweight. It is so easy to use. It's so easy to put together. And all you have to do is charge the battery and you don't even smell like gas. So you don't even smell like you mowed the lawn. This DIY is such an easy one. I'm just using this wood piece from Goodwill. It was $3.29 and I just decided to sand the leaves off of this and just make it a plain wood piece so I would be able to stain it. I'm using 60 grit sandpaper and I'm using a Bosch sander. I love this sander. It has so many different settings. Um, but anyways, once that was sanded, I'm going into this Minwax Classic Gray. Uh, this is like my favorite color stain to use. I think it is so pretty, but it always ends up being a little bit different depending on what color wood you use. And all I'm doing here is just making a quick little easy centerpiece for a table. This is all I did. I didn't add anything to it. You could definitely add like some sort of decal or transfer if you chose to, but I thought that if it was just plain for a centerpiece, you could add whatever you would want to the top. Now I'm gonna be going in with these glass vases. I picked up a ton of different vases at Goodwill for $1.29, and I actually picked up a ton of vases for free at a garage sale. Someone just wanted to get rid of them, so I have a ton of vases. So if you guys wanna see different videos with those, let me know in the description box below. I'm using this John Deere yellow spray paint. It is the only kind of yellow I could find at our local hardware store. But I do love the John Deere yellow color. Do not get me wrong. Uh, this spray paint was a little more pricey than I normally pay, but it was only two minutes away from my house. So I picked that up, spray painted both of those vases that yellow. Now I'm using these decor transfers. This is by Redesign Prima. Prima? I want to say it's Prima. Uh, I found these on Etsy, but you can pick them up off Amazon. If I can find the exact ones, I'll link below. But these I thought were so cool. They're more like a... Paris type theme. Um, there's like bees and butterflies and cafe. Uh, I just, I love using these transfers. They're a little on the pricey side, but I think once you do like 10 to 15 to 20 DIYs with them, it kind of evens out. And it's pretty inexpensive to uh, create like really like low costing decor and make it look super high end. So it comes with a little crafter stick that you just um, rub on the transfer. I'm using the butterfly one and the bee one. And this only takes a couple minutes to do.
Next, I just grabbed a ton of florals and greenery from Dollar General. These items are still only $1, so I always try to go to Dollar General to look for florals. And then I had some gingham ribbon. This was from Michael's, left over from Christmas. And for the butterfly vase, I'm just going to take the gingham ribbon and just wrap it around and tie a nice little bow. And I always add something to the bottom of my vases or next to them so they don't keep rolling all over the floor. For the bee vase, I decided to go with some twine and I just tied the twine and then I started wrapping it around just a few times to the top of this. And you could really just probably go all the way to the top, which kind of sounds like a fun idea to do for another vase. Um, these I already have given away, uh, but I loved the way these turned out. They are so cute. I actually ended up decorating my mom's patio with these, so she has one of these vases. Um, so I will show you what all of it looks like uh, completed in a little bit. So this giant chalkboard I got from Meyer, which is a grocery store in, uh, I think, what Michigan, Ohio, Indiana. I think that's the only place that have Meyer. It could be other places as well. Um, it's not in very many states, but Meyer, it's just like a Walmart pretty much. But I picked up this chalkboard for $7. It was after the fall. I picked up a few of these. And I'm just going to go in with some Waverly chalk paint in white to paint the edges. I did not want this to be just wood. I thought that white would kind of make it pop out just a little bit. Next, I'm going to be using this large talk tour transfer. You have to do what you have to do when you are by yourself. This is such a large transfer. I had to pull it off with my foot just so uh, I didn't ruin this transfer. I have ruined large ones like this before because if the stickiness gets on them, it can be issues and having such large items like this, you just they're expensive. So you don't want to mess them up. So I just lined it up in the center and then I'm using all different colors of chalk paste and I will link those below. I use like a sage, bright white, orange, and then I want to say that one is a mustard yellow, but I will put them in the description box below if you guys want to check any of those paste out. But I wanted to go with like a bright summer. I live in Michigan, so you can't really do flowers. You can probably do flowers now, but while I was doing this video, it just wasn't flower weather. Like you can't have flowers that like you can't plant them. So I thought some faux greenery, faux flowers, just a quick little refresh of my mom's patio or her deck, I thought would be such a fun idea. It's such a cute little place. We love hanging out there in the summertime. And um, I just thought just a quick refresh on it would look great. And uh, since we're out there all the time, uh, I just thought, you know, we could use some new decor for her patio. And I will also link Chalk Tour in the description box below if you guys want to check that out as well. But I just think this makes such a high-end look. And then eventually if I end up wanting to change this out with the chalkboard, since it's the backing is chalkboard, um, I can just clean this right off and redo the chalkboard. So it's not permanently like this if I don't want it to be. So I also think that is amazing. But this is my favorite part is the reveal and what it looks like. I think this turned out so cute. So this is what my mom's deck looks like. It is such a cute little place to hang out in the summertime and we have cookouts and we play games out here and it's just really fun. But it is plain, like I said, I'm in Michigan, so we cannot do all the fun spring slash summer things yet because it, I feel like it was just like 40 degrees last week. Um, so I'm adding the centerpiece along with the vases to the middle of the table. This is what those vases look like when they are completely done. You did not get to see the final reveal until the end because it's more fun to see everything done and how it's styled, I feel like, than just uh, showing you what the vases looked like. But this is what they look like. I did eventually end up moving one, which you will see in just a second. So right here, I have my helper. My dog came over that day as well. And my mom has such fun decor already, and it just kind of needs to come out of the garage. So I added that cute little welcome to our humble, happy, what does that say? 
sometimes crazy, usually messy, full of love home. I loved it. I love the colors and I love that wagon wheel. I think it's so cute sitting in the corner right there. And then on this corner, I decided to add a crate that was in my mom's garage along with a decor piece. And then I ended up putting a vase right in the center of that crate. And this is just a fun little refresh until we can get some real flowers out. But everyone needs a little bit of color in their lives during springtime. Up, you guys, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, consider sticking around and subscribing. Also, don't forget to check out Litholi. I will leave the link to the lawnmower in the description box below. But that is it, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.